Good afternoon. It's about 13.46 p.m. here in England, UK. And uh, I'm going to be sharing the Mass readings for today. And um, it's a wonderful saint who is my screensaver, Padre Pio of Pietrelcina. My favourite saint. I love lots of saints, but he is the one I speak to all the time. <laughs> I just asked him now to pray for me to have supernatural energy to get through reading about him and the mass readings and and um, whatever else I'm doing today with um, recording because for some reason I'm feeling really exhausted today no idea why I haven't done anything exceptional except overdo everything so I'm going to begin with a prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. We are on Friday of 25th week of Ordinary Time, Year 2, Friday 23rd of September 2022, I'll tell you what the readings will be. The first reading will be from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 to 11 and the theme um, there is a time for every occupation under heaven is the theme and the psalm will be from 143 and the response will be blessed be the Lord my rock blessed be the Lord my rock and the gospel will be according to Luke chapter 9 a verse is 18 to 22 and the theme for the gospel, you are the Christ of God, the Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The first reading. Ecclesiastes. There is a season for everything, a time for every occupation under heaven, a time for giving birth, a time for dying, a time for planting, a time for for uprooting what has been planted, a time for killing, a time for healing, a time for knocking down, a time for building, a time for tears, a time for laughter, a time for mourning, a time for dancing, a time for throwing stones away, a time for gathering them up, a time for embracing, a time to refrain from embracing, a time for searching, a time for losing, a time for keeping, a time for throwing away. 
a time for tearing, a time for sewing, a time for keeping silent, a time for speaking, a time for loving, a time for hating, a time for war, a time for peace. What does a man gain for the efforts that he makes? I contemplate the task that God gives mankind to labour at. All that he does is apt for its time. But though he has permitted man to consider time in its wholeness, Man cannot comprehend the work of God from beginning to end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 143. Your response. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my saviour, my shield, my place of refuge. Response. Blessed be the Lord my rock. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man, that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Response. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 9. Glory to you, O Lord. The theme, you are the Christ of God, the Son of Man, is destined to suffer grievously. One day, when Jesus was praying alone in the presence of his disciples, he put this question to them. Who do the crowds say I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others say, one of the ancient prophets come back to life. But you, he said, who do you say I am? It was Peter who spoke up. The Christ of God, he said, and he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone anything about this. The Son of Man, he said, is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, 
and be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, the Gospel Reflection for Friday, the 25th week in Ordinary Time, is based on Luke 9, verses 18 to 22. Timing is important in life. The value of something we do is often determined not just by what we do, but when we do it. Some initiatives can be very worthwhile at the right time, but very unhelpful if the time is wrong. If someone makes a simple request of us, we might normally take it in our stride. However, if the request comes just at the time we have heard bad news or experienced a significant loss, it can be like the straw that breaks the camel's back. In the first reading today, the author declares there is a time for all sorts of activities. He is really saying that there is a right time for all these activities, such as laughing and mourning. He was implying that there is a wrong time for such activities as well. For example, laughing in the presence of someone who is grieving would be very untimely. Well, actually, I can remember a story that I did that was very untimely years ago. I had a friend, a very good, good friend, and um, Dina Miller, God bless her. We lost touch a long, long time ago. But this story was very untimely and I don't know how I could have been so careless. But I will tell you the story because it was terrible what I did. Um, we, we were really, really good friends and a good friend of hers who, I think he invented something that was holistic or so, something... And sadly, he was very close to her. He drowned off the coast of South Africa, if I recall. I mean, this is years ago. I'm talking about um, 40 odd years ago, something like that. When the Thames Barrier was being built and finished, something like that, round about that time, or it had been finished, something like that. Because my son's father worked on that, so it must have been finished. I had a motorbike at the time, a Kawasaki a 305 sports bike. And um, when her boyfriend died, obviously she was really, really upset. And me being stupid, I mean really stupid, I said, oh, I'll take you out on the bike, I'll take you for a trip. Because we were in North London and that's in South. So she got on the back of my bike I didn't tell her where we were going. <laughs> I mean, I'm ashamed of it now, but actually it made her laugh, but not, I mean, she just couldn't believe it. She didn't know that anybody else would do anything as crazy and mad as that. So not the bike, she loved it. So I took her on the bike. Where did I take her? Even now I can't believe I did such a terrible thing. I took her to the Thames Barrier that my son's father had helped build on those huge, huge machines. And they have a museum there, Museum of London and telling you the history of London and all the floods and things that had happened. So we just, just went into the museum and she couldn't believe it. There was all these videos of people drowning and she just 
got hysterical. I mean, but with laughter, she just couldn't believe it. She said, she turned around, she said, Janet, how can you do this to me? You know, <laughs> or something to that effect. But I don't know, she she did forgive me. We stayed friends till I, I left London and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what, how stupid was that? She'd just lost a boyfriend in a drowning incident, incident and I took her to the Thames Barrier where they'd got the museum with all the history of people drowning in London and all sorts. I mean, you couldn't do anything worse than that to a friend, could you? So that was the most untimely, awful thing I've ever done in my life to a friend. We didn't lose our friendship over that at all. Well, we never lost our friendship. We just lost lost contact. So that's my untimely story. As one of the Proverbs in the book of Proverbs expresses it, like vinegar on a wound is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. We can all get our timing wrong. I certainly did. I mean, that's the worst timing I've ever done to anyone. It can take a certain wisdom to get our timing right in relation to others, especially family and friends. We have to be very careful. I mean, she took it really well considering what I did. I didn't think about it because I was so excited about the Thames Barrier and, and how great it was and what a mar mar marvellous works and stuff like that. But I hadn't thought... I mean, I just thoughtless. So Jesus, he always seems to have got his timing right, but I certainly did not. It taught me a lesson, though. In today's Gospel reading, he asks his disciples the question, Who do you say I am? He had to pick the right time to ask this question. There was no point in asking it too early into his ministry or his disciples would not have had enough exposure to Jesus to answer it correctly. He would not leave it too late into his mystery, ministry sorry, uh, to ask this question or there would not have been enough time for Jesus to give his disciples further instructions as to who he was. The Gospel reading says that Jesus had been praying alone before he asked his disciples this question. He brought the question to God in prayer and that helped him to get his timing right. Prayer can help all of us to get our timing right. When it comes to others in prayer, we open ourselves to that wisdom from on high, which enlightens us and helps us to be timely in all we say and do. I'm just going to look. I don't move too much because the other day when I moved to get my Bible, um, my computer switched off. And I have got prayers at the back of it. And I've never really looked at them. So I might just find where they are. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those 
who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, you instructed the hearts of those who believed in you by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And this I pray for Dina Miller, my friend, an act of contrition. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you and detest all my sins because of your just punishments, the loss of heaven and the pains of hell but more of most of all, because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to confess my sins, to do penance and to amend my life again. An act of faith. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God, in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them who can neither deceive nor be deceived. Amen. An act of hope. My God, relying on your almighty power and infinite mercy and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of your grace and life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Amen. An act of love. O oh my God, I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul because you are all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbour as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Dina. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the paraclete. 
Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. De profundus, out of the depths I have cried unto you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, will mark iniquities, Lord, who shall stand? For with you there is merciful forgiveness, and by reason of your law I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has relied on his word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. Amen. From the morning watch even until night, let Israel hope in the Lord, because with the Lord there is mercy, and with him plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The Jesus Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked, defend me. At the hour of death, call me. And bid me come to thee. That with all the saints I may praise thee for ever and ever. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for listening. I'm sending you his peace and blessings. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. Thank you for your comments, Deborah, and everyone else, and may you all be protected. God bless, and thank you. Turn this on.